Hi everybody, we're back continuing on with our exercises and today we're going to continue on and look more at rendering. So we want to look at uh, doing an uh, interior rendering. So let's look at doing an isometric one. Uh, so I'm going to go into my default 3D view. Okay, and what we'll do is go into uh, let me see. I want to get this building orientation. Not this. I'll put that over there. Let's do this. Okay. We'll do this like this. And what we'll do is we'll go into our properties and we see here, we see here uh, a section box. So we'll select the section box. And come on, ready. And as you can see, you get this little dialog box with this box here. And if I select it, I have these grips. So these grips are adjustable. Uh, I've seen them before, nothing new here. So I'm going to take this one. I want to just get something here, bring that down a bit. Just so we can see the first level. Uh, maybe bring it up there. I think that'll work for us. And then I want to go in this side and just pull this section back. I want to see what's happening in this side of the building up to there. Okay, so there's our isometric view. And now we can render this as well. Uh, so what we need to do now is uh, select the render icon here under view. Okay, now, um, you've seen before what happens with the settings and everything, so <laughs> this time we'll do it uh, medium. So I'm going to go here, we're going to select the stereo sun only, and then um, here, sun settings, we're going to say from the top left. Because we want to get sunlight here. And then I'm going to say OK there. And then our background style, let's just say color here. Now it's going to be blue, so that's OK, I guess. So now I'm going to hit this guy and I'll go medium again. Hopefully it won't take so long. And then I'll go render. So notice what you're going to have here when this is done. You're going to get um, a rendered view basically showing the sun and the shades. You can also do sun settings here later on. Um, this works pretty good. So that's running through and let's see. Okay, so that didn't turn out too bad at a medium, but you can do a higher quality and get far, far better results with that. So what I'm going to think about doing now, I'm going to look at doing uh, an interior uh, rendering now. Um, we've got all type of graphical display options we can use here. So I'm going to let that one run through. And then we're going to go down into our, so we get the idea here. I might just stop this taking too much time. Yes, I think I will stop this. But I'll let it continue because we may use it later on when we set up drawings and everything, but uh, we'll see what happens. So, Okay, so that's done. So now let's go to our level one. So now we're here in level one. Uh, we want to set up a camera view. Say, let's go. You want to probably capture these stairs. I'm in level one. Yes. So I'm going to go and stand right about here with my camera. And 
let's take a, we want to highlight these stairs of anything. You want to go right straight through there. Okay, so now there's our view. It's not too bad. Uh, now what I can do here is I can crop it just to make sure. Actually, that's not bad at all. We got it, so I'm going to leave it there like that. So now there's other things we can do, certain graphic display options as well. I'm going to show you this quickly. So I can go here and let's see. Okay. Now where is that? I remember it. Um, graphic display options. go down here and see. I don't remember. Anybody remember? Uh, oh, here we go right here. <laughs> so now here, I can go and make changes here. Like, you can go here and say, uh, we can make the smooth lines. And then you can go along here and, and do certain things like sketchy lines here. And apply that. Or you can do a whole host of things here. So uh, just showing you that, how that works. But I'm going to cancel out of that. I uh, want to undo that back because I don't want to use that right now. But it's just an item to use. You know, just basically go here, um, graphic display options, and change things at all. So now we want to look at creating our interior rendering of this view. Okay, so basically what, what you need to do is the same thing we followed before. Nothing's any different except for uh, here. We want to go into our render dialog box. And I'm going to set here for sun, interior, iron artificial. Let's go interior, sun, and artificial. And then... Um, Let's go here to our sun settings and I'm going to set this at single day and we want to go at 6.30 p.m. Uh, let's just go. Let's see if I can just six. 30 p.m. Okay. So that would be the time sunrise to sunset, but I don't want that. I just want to see what well, I want 6 30 p.m. or glass p.m. It's going to be 6 30. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to render this guy. Add medium. So hopefully it won't take too long. Let's see what happens. Um, we'll hit render. So if you haven't started at the beginning, you can start at the beginning of this uh, series. It's coming to an end now. Um, just doing the renderings, and I don't think I need to do construction documents because I think everybody knows how to do construction documents after watching my videos because we do full projects. And this guy is coming along, hopefully. Okay. Not too bad. So this is looking at 6.30 in the evening time. Um, let's see if we can get more. There you go. So it's going to come on in pretty good, I think. Uh, but that's how you do a rendering. So we covered all the rendering types. And um, 
Yeah. You can even add images in here and everything, but I don't want to waste our time going through that. And as you can see, the light fixtures, the light sources are illuminating. And this is a medium view. So if you put this at a high quality, you'll get much better um, images. And then, you know, I needed to put some uh, material on the stairs here, like maybe some chrome railing. But this is how you do uh, renderings in Revit. So, hey, guys, um, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. Everybody be safe and take care. Please subscribe, like, share, and super thanks. Y'all take care. See you the next time. Bye.